Hey guys, so in this video I will show you how you can take any CAD model and export it with plasticity with an absolute beautiful clean mesh that you can even deform. And this tutorial that you will watch now is one module of almost 30 modules in my ultimate free plasticity course. So check it out, first link in the description. If you want to learn plasticity, do definitely have to check out that course. I will show you the whole process of create that Apple Watch that we will use in this tutorial. So absolutely amazing. The course joined already over 500 students, so really cool to see that. So let's jump in our free bonus module and see how we can export our CAT 3D models. And in this bonus part, yeah, we will go through and export everything. So we can use this as a rendering and yeah, we will most probably export it in a few separate parts. So we have the highest quality and not unnecessary um, polygons and all that stuff. And then once we've exported everything and we assembled everything then in Cinema 4D or Blender, then we will recreate, yeah, this curvature here and I will sh show you. So it's, it's literally for every program the same. It works in Cinema 4D, in Blender, in Maya, in 3D Max, in, in Modo, in literally every other pro program because what I will show you, it's very simple. So I will show you in Cinema 4D. You can just check it out but you can follow along with all of those other um, software too. So let's start here with export and yeah, I've tested that here already. So perfect. So to export that, we let's start here with the straps because this is the most interesting and this is what I want to show you and what I was telling you why we will do it straight. So if we select here with object mode, just our strap, and we go to export and we have here strap export. We will select here OBJ, wavefront OBJ and press save. And you see, we have something like that. And yeah, this is a lot of triangles and we want also a few straight lines. So if you want to bend it around these axes and all that stuff and yeah, I don't know. So. Yeah, plasticity is amazing. Plasticity's export is amazing. So if you go here to Ngons, boom, you see it's already much cleaner everything. And yeah, look, basically you'd only need four options in most, most, most of the case. So the most important is here topology. If you want triangles, quads or Ngons, I mostly go with N-Gons because mostly it's working fine, as you will see. And then you have the density. So if you play around with the slider, you see um, you are getting more and more dense um, topology. But yeah, you will see it even more here on the body than later. But you see that looks already pretty clean, but we have here some topology. But here on the bevels, it's too much. You know, so first of all, I don't know if you want to go like, I don't know, it's like super low poly here. So something like that or even 0.1. I don't know. I'm not an expert in low poly and I don't care at all about low poly. But if you want to do something as that, you know, but let's go here with, I don't know, 0.7 and then see. And if we ca cap it a little bit, it will break those here down. So if we activate it, it's, it's really, really cool. So maybe let's make the density something like that. Yeah, that's fine. And maybe also the max width a tiny bit less. So I don't know. Let's try 0.5. You see? And look, and now <laughs> it's, it's basically subdivision ready. You know, just here some cleanup and all that stuff. But look, this is perfect for uh, for what we will do that's completely absolutely more than enough crazy super perfect and you can even unwrap that super easy here you have a continuous line so unwrap two minutes or even one minute i don't know so this is really amazing as you see and here you see there is so much more different options but in 99.99 percent .99 i never use them and um yeah it's in my opinion, Nick, so the creator should yeah, delete most of that or just find a way to put it maybe in one or two additional sliders because yeah, it's just confusing for most of the people. And I honestly, no one see everyone 
using or explaining all of those other you sometimes need it in 0.0001 percent of the cases but then in my opinion you should get rid of that because the simpler it is the better but yeah look this is perfect so press ok and we have it as an export so let's hide now those pieces so just press h so we go now then with the other pieces but if we here open cinema 4d um, so we have it export let's just drag it in you see well, let me close octane let me delete this here and so just basically that and you see it's it's perfect it's yeah so many people uh, shit topology plasticity and all that stuff <laughs> when i when i see these comments i yeah i'm just i'm just smiling and I, I just, it's just it's just yeah i don't know yeah so this is perfect and let's continue with yeah, let's just do quickly those parts so again select them export and strap details and save it again as an obj and save and yeah a bit too much detail i guess so i don't need max with here anymore and so here i think we could use this surface angle because okay in this example we could use this but even yeah we can even go less with the oops with the density here because yeah you see we don't even need anything else okay here it's a little bit more interesting so here i wouldn't go too high so okay here you can use the surface plane tolerance when you have this yeah circular shapes so if we go here to density too high we get here on on this cylinder too much detail i don't really need it but we need then here surface plane tolerance a little bit less so you see we are just getting here a little bit more detail and yeah i just want it here very very smooth so yeah but again most of the time we don't need this but here that's fine now so if you have here cylindrical shapes and here donut shapes and all that stuff play here with surface plane tolerance but yeah here you will see we will mostly use just those first four options as in most of the cases so let's press ok and let's bring that as well to cinema 4d and so merge project strap details and let me delete that again and just leave it as is here you see it's it's yeah it's it's beautiful it's it's perfect yeah so that's really cool so let's continue so hide those pieces yeah let's basically go here with this big parts and also the crown i think we can include this and also even here so we have everything except uh, the mesh i guess because yeah so okay we have everything let's export it export as as a body and obj okay leave it let, let it load a second and here bam you see it, it looks already really good so yeah let me just play a little bit around so here i want to go really high poly and yeah you see we are really high poly but i really like it and i even want here a little bit because we filleted the chamfers and i want that definitely so let's even untick that and okay this is a little bit too crazy so let's play around here with this min value so it will just adjust the bevels and it always loads yeah perfect boom yeah you see and yeah that looks really really good and yeah we have a lot of detail but i want that so yeah we could maybe here a little bit play around but i want here some really cool detail so maybe let's try 004 maybe to delete one of those bevels yeah i think yeah i think this is that will be looking good okay so let's export that and see if that looks good so merge project body okay and yeah here we see that didn't work out so we have this normal error 
us. And I'm not sure, so I read and I heard from people, so if they import it into Blender or other program, they don't have this problem. Sometimes I don't have problems, but other people have problems, so try that out. But um, yeah, maybe you know a solution for that. So I know a solution for that. Let me try again before we do that, which will work, but it's not the best one. So I'm not really sure why this happens. So let's try quartz maybe. And yeah, let's just try it with quartz. Maybe this will work out because the last option I don't like it, but it will which should still work. Um, but let's open it. Ah, cool, perfect. You see, now it's perfect. So sometimes just try N-Gons or Quartz, you know, because look, it's it's perfect. We don't have any issues. It looks super smooth. And look, yeah, the topology is then not that best anymore, but it's still unwrappable. And yeah, we don't need here to unwrap anything except here the screen maybe. And this is just a planar face, so zero problems. And everything else, we, I never unwrap. So if you know my portfolio, uh, yeah, I never unwrap stuff. And bam, you see, cook, uh, look, those, those beautiful fillets. Yeah, that's amazing. So let's uh, go here, press H. Okay, let me do it different. Let's just um, select the, those pieces and export them because, yeah, they will have a different level of detail. So export those and and yeah just again very high detail so we have here detail and then just cut this with the min with the bevels here but it's it's a lot but yeah maybe maybe like that but yeah that's fine export it press h and now let's really just that mesh here so again just export and call that mesh or grid and again, you will have to wait a little bit. Okay, so I found out here very important value is again, because you have those cylindrical shapes and, and this rounded shapes here, surface angle tolerance. So yeah, it's, um, it's loading a little bit slow. So maybe it would be good if you just take one of those pieces and export it separately and find out the right um, options and then just copy it. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I'm a bit too lazy for that now. And I think 0.6 will be fine because I anyway want to go high poly and do some close up renders. So let's see. Yeah, you see it's 0.6. It's a little bit jaggy, but I don't want to go too crazy with polys, but this is already a lot of detail. So I think this is really, really good. So let's okay and let it load again a little bit and let's see how that will look. So merge project and grid and loaded and you see already it's I guess a lot of polygons and a lot of objects so let's just yeah I'm just interested how many polygons we have so select everything select shift a yeah 500,000 <laughs> so yeah, I don't care because it's just one product but yeah maybe we could optimize that a little bit but yeah, you got the point but uh, yeah let me delete here because bam you see we can do really, really high close, um, close up renders and it will look just really, really clean. And I see some have some issues. So this is really weird. Why some have some issues and why not? So yeah, maybe I will tell that Nick. So yeah, I will just re-export them with, um, quads and try that again because I think that should work fine. So yeah, they are now in quads. So let's save it and try and bam, you see now it looks perfect. Yeah, no errors and high detail and exactly what we need for a really high quality product renders. All right, so we have our whole watch here. So let's rotate it. And yeah, so <laughs> you don't, I don't know what people say, oh, shitty mesh. It's like literally, I don't know, so many comments regarding the topology but here for I don't know for games maybe I don't know uh, I just yeah I, I'm not an expert at all like in gaming and substance painter I just know for products if you watch all of my product renderings I never unwrap 
I use always for modeling here plasticity or something like that and I have never problems and look it's perfect so you can just texture that procedural mapping and <laughs> ready to go and also for the renders that you saw already there is nothing unwrapped there's there's nothing so maybe just the screen for for uh, yeah the um, yeah the promo text or something that I will create but yeah look it's, it's perfect no issues um, yeah, even unwrappable. I mean, so yeah, we don't need to unwrap that, but I mean, it's possible. So yeah, really cool. And in the next part, we will finally create and deform here our strap. So we have this really cool looking, yeah, composition here, kind of. So see you. And yeah, if you're watching the tutorial on the YouTube, then yeah, check out first link in the description. There is this full course where we will model this whole watch and all of the details. Yeah, it's like six hours completely for free just for you that you can learn plasticity and see how amazing it is and how much fun it is. Check it out and see you in there. Bye.